This is, uh, I guess the top platform? This isn't the- <gasps> F dude! Holy hell! Hi! Hello? What's up, everybody? I'm IGP. Welcome back to Subnautica. Now, I know, yesterday I said you guys are gonna be super excited to see this, and I showed off the Ghost Leviathan, which is an exciting thing. However, come to find out, they actually dropped the biggest unannounced updates to Experimental around the same time that I posted the video. And if you can't tell where I am, I'm right in front of the primary containment facility, or better known as the Sea Emperor Prison. It's been implemented, guys. Not just the outside. We have the antechamber, the aquarium, the Sea Emperor at its full size with animations, and the incubator with the eggs that we can actually hatch. I hope you guys are going to enjoy. I can't even speak properly to do a proper intro because I'm excited for this, so... Let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So if you're playing an experimental, getting into prison would be impossible, but we do have a little code that we can use. Uh, it's unlock doors, and now the doors should be unlocked. There we go. And they'll go away, and now you can continue. Here we go. Oh boy. Well, we've been in this part before. What am I freaking out about? It's up here that matters. Oh man. There's the pillar. It looks like it's just, yeah, it's just looping. That animation needs to be fixed, apparently. All right. So we should be getting in here with, like, the exosuit, but I guess this will work too. Ooh, there's a glowing light over there. Data terminal. Holy crap. We have a lot to look at. All right. Data terminal first. Emperor Project Data. This device records data from the primary research specimen at this facility. According to the logs, an indigenous life form referred to as the Emperor Specimen was found to produce a unique substance they referred to as Enzyme 42, which inhibited the symptoms of the infection in other indigenous organisms. The specimen was captured and contained here in addition to the eggs it was found guarding. The alien researchers went to great lengths to provide for the life form's environmental needs, including the import of interdependent flora and fauna via an on-site warp gate. However, its health quickly began to deteriorate. At the time of the bacterial outbreak and resulting quarantine, all attempts to develop the enzyme into a vaccine had been unsuccessful. One can imagine. Okay, oh, here we go. Here are the artifacts that we were talking about. Just random stuff from other galaxies, planets that looks super mechanical. This is... wow. They're moving too. Another relic of sorts. This looks like stuff from Halo. Ah, okay, so it's a weapon. Whoa. Is that a yin and yang? What the hell? It's a creature in the shape... Now, I'm taking this as like, let's say this was all real. That would be really interesting to see where we got these symbols from. Like, maybe they visited Earth a very long time ago and imprinted that image uh, in the culture. And that's why we... Oh, here's the Earth artifact, dude. They've come in contact with humans before or have been to Earth. That is amazing. Or wherever else, you know, is whatever planet's colonized by humans at this point. I don't know. Holy hell. Okay, so I, I'm i pretty sure going straight will go into the aquarium. And I don't want to do that yet. We have to save that for last. I got to see all the other little details here. I mean, the place looks pretty standard for precursors. Oh, here we go. We have an egg. Oh, dude, this is the Emperor Egg, isn't it? I don't think I've seen a model of it yet. I mean, I think I saw a screenshot, a dev screenshot, a long time ago, but I don't even know if that was a current model. Nothing in there. Another one over here. Holy crap. So there's separate incubation chambers. Hello? That's a dead baby Emperor. I didn't kill this one, okay? I didn't do it. I promise. How are you floating, by the way? I'm not sure if we're supposed to be underwater or not, actually. But I guess it's nice to walk around. There's ramps. I'd imagine that, you know, we would have to be at some point. I don't know. Oh my god, this music, though. Uh, something is causing a bunch of lag, dude. Oh my lord, what is happening? What is this? Oh, is this the teleporter room? Or actually, what would this room even be for? It's magnificently large. This flashlight will help me. Yeah, shine it right in your eye, dude. That's smart. <laughs> this is so Halo. Whoa! Well, hello there, Mr. Pipe. What the hell? What would you even need these pipes for? Was this- was this facility not intended just for the Emperor? Alien pump. Here we go. This machinery is pumping water to and from the attached pipe network. 
Outflow. Oxygen-deprived water is being flooded from the system. Inflow. Analysis of the water composition flowing in indicates it is being drawn from different biomes between here and the surface of the planet. The water temperature is considerably lower than the volcanic environment outside the facility and oxygen rich. Okay, they had to have fresh water. Uh, would it be diseased water? It's waterborne, right? I mean, I guess it would probably filter it all in. I don't know if there's a filter. Now, I wonder how far this goes. Would I be able to cure myself? What the hell's down here? I don't even want to fall down here. I can't- oh! They're not- they're not solid yet. Okay, here we're back up at the pipes here. That just kind of went down into the basement part of it. I don't think there's anything else. This seems like relatively new. I mean, this entire thing is relatively new anyway. Oh no. Well, I'm stuck. Great. I think we're done with the pump. I think we are done with the pump. There's another room over here. This is a giant facility, man. This is crazy. Oh, okay. We got another teleporter. Good, good, good. I don't have one. Sorry. Whoa. What are you? I need a scanner, don't I? Alright, now I have one. I wonder what I missed that I could have actually scanned. There's two empty rooms up here. Next room over. Likely to be symmetrical in some way. Uh-oh. Whoa, okay, unfinished rooms. Here we go. I hear something swimming around. Hopefully it's not the Emperor. This is actually really creepy. I hate it. Alright, what are you? Uh, the Emperor Egg Hatching Project Data. This device records- What? Chill out, please. This device records all available physical data from a single point in time. The last recorded data set was captured just after quarantine was imposed on the facility. Specimen data. The main containment chamber here housed the Sea Emperor Leviathan and its eggs. The parent Leviathan's health had deteriorated. Its eggs appeared to be in good condition, but in some form of natural stasis. The data shows that within the vast specimen containment unit, an incubation system had been constructed to house the Leviathan's eggs. Likely the alien researchers had refocused their efforts to develop a vaccine on the unborn infants. The incubation system suggests that they had restored to developing artificial hatching enzymes which would simulate the natural hatching environment. When quarantine was imposed, all warp gates and access points to the facility were sealed. Analysis. While the unborn emperor specimens may have held some potential for the development of a vaccine, it is highly unlikely that parent or child survived having their food supply cut off and being isolated from the rest of the ecosystem. Yes, this is very true. I love that though. See, if we didn't already know the emperor was alive, this would be an awesome revelation, right? Because you're getting all this information from inside telling you there's no way it can still be alive because at this point it was a thousand years ago. How in the hell is that thing going to survive for a thousand years, let alone its babies stay in eggs for a thousand years? I don't understand the science. I'm not a subnautica scientist. Ah, another teleporter. There's two teleporters inside of the prison that lead to the same place. Can I scan these now? I'm actually curious. Yes. Leviathan egg casing. Oh, it's a hatched casing. That would explain the dead one. Shell composition. The shell casing is formed from thick layers of carbon composite, suggesting an extensive gestation period. The Leviathan species may give birth just once per century, perhaps just once in their lifetimes. Wow. The shell casing incisions. Precise incisions suggest a laser-based tool was used to cut open the egg casing and forcibly remove the fetus inside prior to full gestation. Analysis. Time pressure to develop a bacterial vaccine may have driven the alien researchers to cut open this egg and remove the fetus for study. It is also possible that removed from its parent in natural habitat, some vital condition for the infants to hatch naturally was not met. Yes, and that would be why it is now dead. Dissected Leviathan fetus? I don't see a dissected Leviathan fetus. What? Background. Superficial damage to the specimen indicates it was forcibly removed from its egg casing. The fetus appears to have been terminated for dissection immediately on removal. Cryogenically preserved. Oh my god, dude. That's how- okay, so that makes sense how the eggs would have stayed. Analysis of digestive system enzyme production indicates potential for full vaccination against effects of alien bacterium. However, the fetus had not fully completed gestation. Internal organ development is insufficient for enzyme production. Analysis. A healthy infant specimen may be able to produce the enzymes necessary for a full vaccine against the bacterium. Given the specimen's potential, it is unlikely the alien researchers would have forcibly removed it prior to full development if they had discovered any way to hatch it naturally. Recommended steps is unclear. 
Oh, maybe that's what this fetus is. Yeah, okay. I think it's not supposed to be floating. I think it's supposed to actually be in there. So we are supposed to be walking around. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot I can scan this stuff. Do I scan each one? Oh, wow. Okay, alien relic. Despite its simple design, this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet and most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. Okay, well, that's really good to know. This rock-like material features biomechanical parts that match components identified in the warpers encountered on 4546B. Materials such as this may have even been a fundamental building block of the alien's own self-repairing mechanisms. Beautiful. The boomerang one is, it is unclear why technology of this sophistication has not been found elsewhere on the planet. Its production may have been restricted or too costly, or it may have been pillaged from a more ancient civilization. Alrighty. This alien device appears to be designed to eliminate all organic substances in range by emitting a lethal but contained radioactive field. Wait, alien reliquary? What? What is that word? <laughs> I don't know words. This case contained highly sophisticated nanobots capable of infiltrating a foreign body and deconstructing it from the inside. What? Even why? Is this the stuff you would house in here? Like, that's your choose for your interior decorating? The markings on this device seem to serve no purpose beyond decoration. It may be the alien equivalent of a lamp or magnifying glass used to examine the other relics in more detail. Okay, yeah, I'm sure. All this other stuff are, have catastrophic properties, but that one's just like, yeah, it's a magnifying glass. Let's look at the human one. I know you guys want to see the emperor. It's coming, I promise, but... We gotta look at this stuff first. We gotta examine everything. An ancient earth blade dated back to the 13th century Mongolian Empire. Blood samples on the blade match the DNA of seven separate heads <laughs> of state from that period. Hell yeah, it did. This case is composed of an impregnable translucent metal at the distant end of the periodic table. Uh, scans do not reveal any contents. That is... off? This device is a rudimentary version of the keys used to access these facilities. It may have been kept here for symbolic purposes or legacy support. That's true. This device is some form of communications relay, apparently projecting the presence of the user to a remote location. There do not seem any- oh my god, dude, this stuff is nuts. This is a gun. This weapon appears to be millions of years old and matches no previously encountered technology. Millions? Alright, yin and yang. This carving is hundreds of thousands of years old and made from an unrecognized natural fiber likely grown on an as yet undiscovered planet. Not gonna point out the yin and the yang then, huh? Alright, well, this is it. The door's locked though. I wonder if it's just glitched. All doors are now locked. What? Do it again. Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. Translating local alien broadcast warning. Vaccine development program terminated. Amber egg hatching project terminated. Live specimens terminated. Evacuate immediately. <laughs> what is that back there? I'm afraid. This is the top-down part to the uh, to the aquarium, right? Oh God, yes it is. <laughs> I don't wanna. Oh God, it moved. What is that? What even is? I can't get up there. At least not legitimately. Okay, guys, let's do it. Let's put this away. Oh boy, yeah. Mmm, boy. Mm. This is, uh, I guess the top platform? This isn't the- <gasps> Fucking dude! Holy hell! Hi! Hello? I'm good! I promise you, I'm not here to hurt you! Do you want me to come close? Okay. Woo! Like, I haven't seen an oversized emperor before, but jeez! It's not making any sounds, either. Oh, is it gonna guide me? Holy crap, this place is huge! Love the animations, though. It's finally here, dude! It is done! Unlike other alien facilities, scans indicate this location supports a diverse and healthy ecosystem. Explanation unclear at this time. We already figured that out, though. What is up? Hey, hey. Hi. How are you still alive? Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you with this thing. I just need to get close enough to scan you. Okay, so it's just gonna circle around. Come on. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, there's the teleporter. There's the teleporter. Okay, I don't think we can scan the Emperor yet. There's the teleporter. Detecting unusual- unusually passive behavioral patterns in nearby predators. Who? Oh, the fuck? 
Jesus Christ, that scared the hell out of me. Aquarian Warp Gate. Okay, so this is separate than the teleporter. Scans indicate this warp gate has not been active since the facility was abandoned. It likely served as an access point to the surface of the planet. It is much too small for the Emperor's specimen to pass through, but may accommodate a juvenile specimen. Yes, that's what we're supposed to do, apparently, is help free the babies, and then the, uh, the Emperor's just gonna stay here and die eventually. Jesus Christ, I thought that was the Emperor saying something to me. Okay, so here's the incubation chamber, and the eggs are there. Oh, dude, this is nuts. It's supposed to come near me, right? When I get near the eggs? Is it not going to? Oh, <laughs> God! It looks straight at me. Hi! Don't worry. Don't worry. There is a large thunderstorm outside, too, so hopefully this doesn't- <gasps> <laughs> what is it doing? What? Dude, this is so nuts. It is straight up staring at me. Dude, this is so awesome. Oh my god. This is amazing. Okay. What do we do here? Use incubator. Whoa. Scanner room speed upgrade. What? Is that normal? Hatching enzymes. Okay, so we should put the hatching enzymes in it. Did you creep find stuff? Hello? Oh, I can scan these. Incubator device. Sea Emperor Leviathan eggs. Okay. <gasps> Fucking God! What the hell was that? Dude, they hatched! Jesus Christ! Hey! Hi there, little buddy! <laughs> oh my God! They're- they're not moving. Oh, here's- okay, I got a lot of stuff to scan. My head hurts now. Hi. I got the eggs, I got that, I think, uh... Alright, let's just look. Uh, one, shell. Uncommonly strong shell lining, organic growth on the exteriors, suggests these eggs may have be- may be hundreds of years old, excuse me. Alien tubes. Alien device- devices penetrate the outer shell layer. Likely designed to supply them with nutrients and to isolate them from the surrounding environments. Amniotic sac. Unlike most other eggs where a nutrient supply is slowly exhausted by the embryo, these eggs exist in a form of natural stasis, likely awaiting ideal hatching conditions. Oh. So they won't even grow? It's like, it's, yeah, it's some kind of, that's so weird. Fetal organism. There is a high genetic match between these organisms and the Leviathan in the vicinity. They appear to be stable and healthy. It is likely that ideal hatching conditions, Jesus, dude, vary considerably from ideal conditions for survival of the planet. The local ecosystem appears to have prioritized the latter. Incubator device. This alien device is some form of incubator attached intravenously to the Leviathan's eggs, allowing nutrients to be fed in. Yes. And it's a carnivore. Okay. I didn't know it was a carnivore. A juvenile emperor specimen. This species hatches relatively fully formed and independent, perhaps reflecting the fact they must fend for themselves when they are first born away from their parent. The specimen is healthy and exhibiting signs of a positive attitude of life. It is also producing a highly potent form of the enzyme which may be capable of fully curing individuals of the alien bacterium. What up, dude? What's happening? That is so nuts. So this is like, oh, that's why it's formed that way. Oh, I guess it just, uh, holy crap. The emperors are alive and well. I'm still infected though. This isn't a safe haven at all by any means. Uh, oh, there's rooms up here too. All right, we're gonna have to get some ion crystals to activate the the warp gate. What is in here? Hello? Is this another one of those? Whoa. What is this? Oh. Oh, whoa now. There's a teleporter. Oh, it goes up here. That's what it is, okay. Ah. I wonder if that's just like temporary, uh, that's just temporary, this is nuts. If that's just like a temporary model for what should be the teleporter. Okay, I gotcha. Alright, so I don't have an exosuit, so let's just do item precursor. Uh, ion crystal? Isn't that what it is? Yes, okay. Let's go over here and see if we can activate the portal to get them out. I don't know how far this goes, but this is what we're supposed to do, I imagine. 
Um, or we're actually supposed to use the transfuser, aren't we? To extract the enzymes, or do we just get them? I wonder if we stay here long enough, will we be cured? It's possible. We're still infected, okay. I'm sure they're not happy about me being in here. And <laughs> being- and infecting everything. Okay. Activate the warp gate. Let's go, dude. Whew. Are you guys coming or what? So do I have to bring you guys or are you gonna come here or what? How do I... Oh, wait. I got an idea. Give me that propulsion cannon, dude. Did I already have one? I might have already had one. I did have one. <laughs> My bad. Come here. You. Come here. We gotta go through the- we gotta go through the portal, my dude. Did it go through? I think it might have went physically through- Oh, I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! Alright, let's find out where this goes. I guess? Where on earth could this possibly go? What?! Oh! Okay. Okay. Literally out in the middle of nowhere. But that's fine. We gotta go back. Oh, it does the animation again. What up, dude? What is up? It doesn't make a sound. Apparently it's supposed to talk to us telepathically? I haven't heard anything yet, though. Now I'm ever so curious. I want to see if I can kill it. Actually, let me see what happens when I kill the Emperor babies first. I'm so terrible. Anytime I see these things, I just gotta kill them. Aha, you sneaky, sneaky little guy. Come here. See if I can curl. Is it now dead? Nope, okay, now it should be dead. Oh, <laughs> He doesn't seem too disappointed, but he also doesn't seem too happy about it. Hey, I'm killing your babies. How's that feel? What up, dude? Come here. Oh, here he goes. Wow. This is absolutely beautiful. Oh, wait, did I kill it? I think I might have killed it. <laughs> okay, well, that is the the Emperor Prison. There's the experience. It's not done yet. It's clearly not done. We have some work to do. Um, and obviously have it progress the story even more. But this is amazing. Actually, what happens? Spawn Sea Emperor. Wait. Yeah, okay, I thought so. It wasn't the one. You can't spawn this guy. It's a unique entity. Unless there's another code for it. Dude, it's so- it's so crazy. Anyway, that's it! So, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section below what you'd like to see in the next one. And, uh, yeah. Looking forward to the next update. Again, this isn't even a stable update. This isn't experimental. There's so much being added, it's crazy. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!